It is Hot 100.9 Indies Hip Hop Station. Be Swift in the building. And man, I tell y'all all the time when people come in the city, they pulling up to see me. Today I got a special guest. He's been through the city. We done chopped it up a couple times, but now we really get to chop it up. NDG, mind of the go. What's up? <laughs> What's up with you, man? Chilling, man. Good to see you, family. Good to see you, bro. Listen, man, you you it's it's been a crazy, I'll say, I'll just say three months for you. Yeah. The internet's been wild, on fire. You got everybody talking about power. Now you got them dancing like Jagger again. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? How does it feel right now with with all the success you having? Oh, I'm blessed, man. I can't do nothing but give all the credit to God. I'm blessed, man. And uh, it feels amazing, though. It feels great. It feels amazing. Like, and what what I want people to understand, like, you know, a lot of times we use the term new artist. You're not really a new artist. You've done a lot of things over the last couple of years from being on tour with Lil Baby and yeah. Money Bag Yo and things like that. So this is like that next step for you to get that, all right, it's my time to shine. Yeah, facts. What, what's going through your brain with this whole process? Because now you're in a different world, got the label behind you, MNRK. W what's the moves? What are we doing? I'm just ready to take it to the next level for me and my team. You know, we just ready to, like you said, it's my time. It's, it's my time now. So we just ready to just take that big next step, go to the next level. All right, let's kick with power first. Power, TikTok went dumb. I was watching you, watching DJ Danny post all of these videos for the last few months, all these challenges. Like, at what point did you know this is a real record for me? Um, As soon as, like, I did, I did that video on TikTok and it just went crazy. And I'm seeing everybody just make their videos. It's like, it was it was crazy. I'm like, wow. I'm like, okay. So as the videos kept growing and growing, the numbers kept growing and growing, I'm like, all right, this is this, this it right here. This is it. But, like, when I did it on From the Block, I kind of already knew, like, what it could do. It yeah. just took me to put that extra work in to get it to that next level. Like, did you ever look at it and be like, I don't know, cause this this taking off too fast. Like, hold on, <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It took off like that 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 week of the new year. Like that week of the new year was a crazy week before we hit twenty twenty three. Cause right. that, it just started taking off. Like it was just crazy, cause I really couldn't get like I couldn't even get like five hundred views on like a video on TikTok, and I just kept posting that posting the the, the song in different ways, and then boom, it took off with a Jeffrey Dahmer edit. 400,000 views Then it took off With another edit It did 600,000 Then one video Did 1.4 million Then I did a Spongebob video And it did 2.7 million So it just kept going And then as my views Were growing My followers growing As other people Just doing a challenge Dance challenges uh, People doing challenges In their school People working out to it Is giving them Motivation to work out You feel me Like a lot of things Just transcended After you know It took off for me and and that's wild because like that's and that's how I was seeing it. Like I remember the Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, that was wild because it was like right after the movie the yep. came out, and it yep. was like perfect time. And I'm like, they really own it. Like yeah. this is perfect. This movie got the world shook. Everybody's yeah. talking, and then it took. And then like you say, to see the kids, to see the adults, the workout, and I'm like, yo, this is something. And I'm like, is this bro a real song or is he just playing around? Like, is this so? Did this start out as a real record for you, or was this like one of them freestyle joints where it's like, let's see what, let's just put it out? Nah, I'm not gonna lie, it was a freestyle record because I wanted to, I wanted to rap for real, and then I like, I, I like the beat. The beat was so crazy, so I'm like, okay, cool. I'm finna go ahead and just rap. I'm finna just rap, and then we wanted to do uh from the block. And then I was like, I had another song popping last year called Wealthy. Mm -hmm. It was popping. It, it blew up on TikTok too. It just didn't do what Jack, I mean, uh, Power did. It didn't. It just didn't do what Power did, but it was blowing up too. And like the team I was with at the time, they was like, No, you need to do Wealthy. You need to do Wealthy. But I'm with Danny. I'm like, Danny, I know what this finna do. I know what Power finna do. So boom, we went and did Power, and that's what really transcended it for real. Being able to have that video attached to it was what transcended it for real. And give you real power on power. Yeah. And of course, now you got Jagger. Yeah. I seen y'all just shot the video. I appreciate the invite that I didn't get, but that's another story for later <laughs> on. Um, but no, nah, y'all was in the A. Y'all shot that that video. Talk to me about that song. Oh, that song was really just me having fun. And then I didn't want to put it in a freestyle format. I wanted to put it in a real song format. So, um, But it was just me having fun and talking to the ladies for real. And then... From with that song, I, already, I really knew what it was gonna do for real. I knew what it was gonna do just off the um the beat and the sample. The sample was already like, a big record, so I already knew what it was gonna do. Like when yeah. it came to your email, you got that from the producer. What was the first thing you thought? I'm like, I'm finna kill it. <laughs> 
I'm finna go ahead and kill it. I'm finna go ahead and kill this. Because it, it, it was a huge, you know what I mean? Like, that that whole song anyway was top tier. Like, yeah. it's one of them ones. So, like, when I seen it and I heard it, I'm like, yo, he's back to back with these samples. Yeah. Like, this is crazy. Like, everybody not thinking about these records and yeah. to keep the whole concept where it's at. What what does how does 2023 end for you uh i'm finna be like everybody's favorite artist how does that make you feel again i know the work you've done the last two and three years because i've paid attention on the sidelines through danny through goldie and through others how does that feel at this point because again your grind has been impeccable it's a blessing like it's 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 not i i really can't put it in other words it's really just a blessing for us to be here at this moment doing all these numbers and everybody's really tapping in now it's, it's a blessing i can't really can't really put it in a different way and, and and i think it's dope again i pay attention i know you had a success story earlier this year. your pops came home right yeah how was that feeling for him to come home at this time when things is on the go right now it's um it's just how god worked for real like because he was really supposed to come home last year okay but it's just god has his own time and, and um I'm really happy for him to be home, and he's doing his thing. He's uh, getting his uh, CDL, the truck, and he just want to do his own thing. He just want to – he really just want to see what he missed because he's been gone for over 20-plus years. So he just want to see what he missed, and he just want to live for real. And I'm proud. I'm happy for him. Nah, and that's hard. So, look, you're on the road. I always ask people this. They, they on the road. You get the chance to move around. You going city to city, which means you got to stop at the stores. You got to stop at the gas stations. You walk in the gas station. What's your top three snacks? I really, I really. Don't give me that I don't eat snack stuff. Bro. I'm really I'm not, not eating snacks for, for real. I'm not I go going straight, for that. I go straight for the water, but if I am water. going to get a snacks, I'm I'm, I'm going to go get a honey bun. I'm going to go get some Doritos, and then I'm going to go get I'm gonna go get one of them uh them, them Hershey, the milk and cookies Hershey. Okay, that's a great answer right there. Them is yeah. pure fire. Now. You been around. Give me like two of your favorite restaurants you done been into. That's not from your city. Uh, Moshi Moshi in Miami. Okay, it's a go to. If you go to Miami, you gotta go to Moshi Moshi. Me and Danny go <laughs> before we leave. <laughs> it's a must. We go to Moshi Moshi. Sushi and that fry right. I'm telling you, if you in Miami, go to Moshi Moshi. And uh, let me see, cause we don't been we don't been, been to a lot, lot of places. I done so been it's to something a lot. that sticks but out. But I know that one stick out the most, cause we it we never miss. Anytime we in Miami, we never miss Moshi Moshi. Never. Okay. Uh, and I say, um, when I went to L.A., I like Mr. Child. You like that? I like Mr. Child. Yeah, probably some duck. I went with that. Nah, I like Mr. Child. That's, I like that. That's too rich for people. I like food the cool. For me. I oh, we went to we went to Carolina, and it was a barbecue spot that was fire. I can't even remember the name. But we went to uh I think it was I think it was North Carolina. Okay. And we went to this barbecue spot that was fire. I can't even remember the name. But we done been through so many places. So it was like <laughs> I really can't even but Moshi Moshi really the one that's Moshi Moshi. I'm putting that on my list next time man, I'm in you Miami. Go to Miami. Me and Danny got a spot down there. It's not Moshi Moshi, it's Tusi's, but we're not gonna talk <laughs> about that right now. <laughs> um, the wildest place you've been. Uh Dallas. It's a it's a strip club called Ecstasy. <laughs> It's crazy, <laughs> bro. I can't wait to go back to. That's my favorite strip club. Man, I'll tell you, they got everything in there. We ain't even gonna get into that, but they got everything in there you can ask for. So, ecstasy in Dallas is yeah. somewhere that I gotta go. Yeah, it's, it's 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 crazy. What's the most comfortable place you've ever been to? Um, I really I really like being in Atlanta for real. Okay, like Atlanta, um. Mean Street Studios, Atlantic. That that was a good studio for me. It was comfortable. The engineer was great. Um, and Miami too. House of Hits. It's mm. crazy. I love House of Hits. That's hard. Every time we go to Miami, it's House of Hits too. All the time. And it's crazy. You know what's so crazy? Mosi Mosi right there. <laughs> so you can go from one to the and other. House of Hits right down the street. <laughs> so it, it fit perfect. Look, we're gonna know, leave here and we're going and over we here. Going over there. I remember I would tell a story, <laughs> Danny. The, I remember me and Danny was trying to go on this fast. Like we wouldn't eat we was drinking like just healthy smoothies for a whole, you know, that whole week we was in Miami. We got to the last day and Danny said, Nah, bro, I can't take this <laughs> no more. <laughs> We got to go get Moshi Moshi. We went to Moshi Moshi late night and ate out. <laughs> we went crazy. Oh, uh, no, nah, that's funny right there. All right, before I let you out of here, I'm going to put you in this hot seat. You ready? Let's go. I got a rapid-fire question. I just want you to answer. Don't think too hard about it. Let's go. It. Let's do it. First question, favorite NBA team? 
Uh, Lakers. Favorite coach. Or not even coach. Favorite NFL team. NFL team, Saints. Favorite city to go to on a late night. Uh, Atlanta. Like that. Favorite snack. Uh, it's chips. Doritos. <laughs> Kool-Aid or juice? Kool-Aid. Flavor. Red. I like that, too. You didn't even give me the cherry or strawberry. Yeah. Last one, last one, last one. Favorite television show? Uh, oh, I got a lot. I say, I say Martin. <laughs> oh, see, I was gonna ask you. If it, I was gonna use a question with Martin, so I'm glad I didn't do it. But look, man, look, I'm not gonna hold you. I know y'all road running right now. I appreciate you again. You you come through the nap quietly a lot of the times, and we've bumped in. I'm glad you're able to stop through. I'm glad to see the success between behind Power and behind Jagger right now, bro. Whatever we can do in the nap town for you, we locked and loaded, of course. DJ Danny running with you, so Much it's love. only right. But we, we got to get you back here soon and do something big. Nah, facts. No, I'm talking about big. Like, I'm talking about show something with the kids. I'm like, with it. I got to get it. you locked in to do y'all, something. Y'all had something at the park, but it was my birthday, and I had missed it. I had to go back to my hometown. But And then the next one y'all had, the one y'all just had last week, and I had a show in Montgomery, Alabama. But I definitely – I haven't performed in Nap in a minute. So yeah. I definitely want to get something, man. We're going to lock our way in. We're going to do something with the performance. We're going to do something with the kids, too, because I think mm. your story is something that they need to see. You nah, know what right. I'm saying? And I think the way you did it, the way it's going, I think that's a, a inspiration. You know what I mean? And I right. think – especially not just for the kids, but the kids that want to be artists or some of our, our local artists that get frustrated sometimes and right. see somebody that really did the real grind and put the work in. That's a that's a story that we can show and we can and we can highlight. You know what Facts. I'm saying? I want to inspire all the kids, even the one that's not doing music. It's some athletes or some actors or people that inspire me to go harder in music. So I know my story can inspire somebody that's doing sports or even art or anything to go harder. So I definitely like to inspire the youth because they're the next generation. So. Listen, man, we're going to make it happen. I promise I'm going to get you back. We're going to do something wild and crazy and, and have a damn good time. Let's so do it. Come man. back to the nap, hang out with us, all right? Let's do it, man. Matter of fact, before we go, you got to introduce, introduce either one. Whichever one you decide I should play, I'm going to play it. Man, listen, bro. MDG, man. Y'all be swift to play my new single, Jagger. Y'all got to turn up to it, turn your radios up, and get lit. Let's go.